And uh, today we are going to see how we can create uh, Copilot Actions uh, with uh, Microsoft uh, Copilot Studio in order to interact uh, with uh, uh, Microsoft Lists. We have been already covering uh, uh, many topics uh, about uh, building a custom Copilots with Copilot Studio. And today we are going to see something that I think is mm -hmm. really interesting and exciting. So first of all, uh, like usual, let me set the, the context. And as I said, we are going to use uh, Microsoft Copilot Studio or MCS as the acronym nowadays for Microsoft Copilot Studio. It used to be an acronym for something else in the past. Uh, and we can use it to interact with external systems like uh, Power Platform Connectors, uh, flows uh, built with Power Automate, data versus data, and stuff like that. And of course, uh, uh, when it was uh, uh, already Power Virtual Agent before being the Microsoft Copilot Studio, we used to uh, create uh, topics to interact with those kind of external systems, configuring the input and the output arguments to uh, properly process the interaction with an external system. Nowadays, we have the generative AI and the natural language processing. So using and relying on generative AI, we can provide I would say a definitely better experience for our end users so that we are not uh, forced to use explicit syntax to trigger a topic and uh, trigger a connector or a flow in the backend, but we, we can just speak natural language with our custom copilot and the custom copilot will be able to understand what the goal of the user is, what the right action should be uh, used and what are the parameters to use for the action in order to trigger it, get back a response, and provide, again, using natural language processing, a, a human-readable response to the user. So uh, that said, let me first of all show you uh, a sample in action, and then we will dig into it and see how we can build our own solution. And I will start uh, from a very uh, simple and basic scenario where I'm going just to show you uh, how you can add a custom action, uh, even if it is not directly related to Microsoft List, uh, inside a custom copilot built with Copilot Studio. I have this custom copilot that I've already created just for the sake of saving uh, some time. And here you can see that in the section uh, named actions, which is, as you can clearly see, still under preview, you can create a new action. And by creating a new action, you can connect uh, to already existing uh, uh, flows in Power Automate, to uh, Power Platform Connectors, and other stuff like that. And just to make a very simple and easy example, I'm going to search for weather because I want to connect to the weather uh, forecast uh, connector. I can select this item, but we can even create new items directly from this UI, as you will see shortly. This is the connector that I want to use. And by clicking on the next button, I will be able to see that the Copilot Studio uh, was able to understand what the inputs and the outputs are for my connector. And I can uh, simply use this new action to trigger activities in the UI of my uh, custom copilot. Just to give you an idea and to save some time because I don't want to have all of the duties of uh, saving, publishing, and other stuff, I already created uh, a really simplified version of the custom copilot that I was talking about before. And I can use it. And here we have an action exactly like the one I was showing you. I can go in the overview and just using the Test Copilot, uh, for the sake of giving you the idea of what's going on, I can enable tracking and show the tracking mode window right here. So I can provide a prompt like, for example, what's the weather like in Milan today? Uh, okay, I can look outside of the, of the window to know that, but doesn't matter. So you can see what the weather, what is the weather in Milan as well. And as you can see, the uh, Copilot Studio was able to match uh, the sentence in my prompt uh, with the actual action that was the target of my request as well as with the input arguments that were uh, expected by the custom action. So the location and the units. And I've got like, a response with the weather condition in my town. And of course, being based on generative AI and natural language processing, I can also see, and uh, what about uh, Seattle? 
And of course, uh, the engine will be able to understand that I'm still talking about the same uh, topic, the same uh, uh, goal, but now the input for the location will be Seattle and I will get back the forecast for Seattle. So really cool, really impressive in my opinion. Now, uh, of course, yeah, I see in the chat, metric is not far enough, doesn't matter. Uh, don't be picky, Visa, but still, okay. <laughs> it is almost working as expected. So now let's say that we want to do something more and that we have a list of employees with Microsoft lists that I want to use and to manage using this kind of technology. And for the sake of it, I created a few custom flows, like for example, a flow in Power Automate to add a new employee or another flow in Power Automate to get an employee based on the email address of the employee. So here I have another custom copilot that I created, this one employee onboarding copilot, in which I configured a few uh, actions. Two of them are enabled, those in blue. The others are right now disabled because you can always go here, click on the three dots and enable or disable the action depending on what you want to do. Now I have a new, uh, and I have an add new employee and I get employee name actions enabled. And I have my copilot properly configured with single sign-on, with support for Teams channel and stuff like that. That, all topics that we have already been uh, covering in the previous demo. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, just have a look at the previous recordings and you will find plenty of information about how to do that. Now, as you can see, there is already an interaction right here, but I can play with this uh, uh, bot with this custom copilot and I can ask questions like uh, get the name of the employee with the mail evacant.conto at contoso.com and here we can see that somewhere we have that employee so I can trigger this request in my Teams chat with my custom copilot and I will get back a response which will be based on a query made on my uh, max list, which is at the very end, a uh, SharePoint list. But what is really interesting that, that, again, I can rely on the fact that the engine is able to understand natural language. So whether I will say, get the name of, or if I will say, who is the employee with the mail and providing an email, the natural language processing will be able to still understand that the intent of the user is still the same, will still trigger the same action, and do what I need to do. So, for example, I can even do stuff like uh, add a new employee. Let me show you. Add a new employee with name Paolo, with a mail paolo at contoso.com, and role solution architect. If I will do that, I will trigger another action because now I'm targeting a different uh, uh, action and a different flow that I want to trigger. And by doing that, I will have my employee created in the list in Microsoft list. And if I refresh, I can see that there is myself now in the list of employees. And again, just to make it more challenging and more interesting, I would say, I can also say that, well, I want to create an employee, but I will just provide the name and the email. As I showed you before, in order to create an employee, in the previous example, I provided the uh, name, email, and role, because in my list, that's what I'm looking for. So, oops, sorry, let me go to the right tab. Let me do it. Add a new employee with name Paolo and email paolo at contoso.com. And look what will happen now. The engine is so smart that it will say, wait a minute, I also need a role. Can you tell me what the role is? Okay, and I can say uh, marketing uh, director because why not? Marketing director, okay? I will do that. And now the action will be triggered with all of the uh, settings, all the input arguments expected by my custom flow. So. I think this is really, really powerful. Now, how does it work? Well, when you are in a, a custom copilot in Copilot Studio, you simply create a new action. You choose a target flow. You can even filter the items that you want to see if you're targeting just flows. You choose the flow you want to use. And once you have done that, it will inspect the definition of your flow, identify the input and the output arguments. In this scenario, we have name, email, and role. And then we will see on the other side, so on the flow side, how the flow is defined. We, we have to edit uh, all of the input arguments to provide a proper description for each of them so that the generative AI will be able to understand what we are talking about. So when I will provide my inputs, it will be able to match the uh, arguments in the input with the input arguments that the flow is looking for. And once you have done with that, you can create the action and use it. 
And if you want, you can also create a new flow from scratch starting from here. So you click on the plus here and you say, create a new flow. What will happen will be that it will be created a flow in Power Automate. Let me show you the add new employee flow uh, just for the sake of showing you uh, an example. And if I will edit this one, which is the one we uh, have been using in the demo, here I have my run a flow from copilot triggering action in flow. In this one, I define the three input arguments, the name, the email, and the role of the employee that I want to create. Then I simply rely on the regular definition of a flow in Power Automate, nothing special, but using the create item action, I can create an item in my target list of employees in my target site collection, and I will simply get the three input arguments to set up the title, the email, and the role of my employee in the SharePoint list. And then using a compose action, but you can do again whatever you want, I'm simply composing a response message where I say the uh, employee with name uh, X, Y, and Z, email and role uh, X, Y, and Z was successfully created. This will be a value that I will provide in the result response of my respond to copilot action, which is the one which will close the circle, the communication channel with the uh, custom copilot. So theoretically, you can even keep on writing additional actions after this one, but uh, you will need to have a run a flow from copilot as the trigger one, and then the respond to copilot to provide the feedback back to copilot. And the same story applies to the other flow, the uh, get employee name, where I simply defined again the run a flow from copilot, where now the input is just one text input of uh, with the email. I do the get item instead of the add item. I do the composition of the output, retrieving just the very first uh, title of the very first item. And then I respond to copilot, providing the name of the user. And that's how we can get this kind of response. The employee with the mail XYZ is a name and surname. Okay, so this is how you can, you can do that. Now, let me quickly go back to the presentation deck and then I'm done. So things to keep into account, the flow and the bot need to share the same Dataverse environment and the flow must be in a power automate solution. The flow values must be returned synchronously to Microsoft Copilot Studio, and the cloud flow invoked, cloud flow invoked by MCS has to provide an answer within 100 seconds. So keep it into account. Eventually, as I said, you can do more right after uh, having provided an answer to MCS, but you will have a timeout of 100 seconds. Plus the fact that MCS can only receive uh, data of up to one megabyte uh, in a single action. So keep it, to, uh, it into account as well. The supported types for the parameters are just uh, at least uh, at this time, uh, number string and boolean and that said these are some useful links that you can already find in the chat and i think that i'm done with this demo as well so back to you visa and thank you everyone mm -hmm.